It's no secret that I love being on two wheels. I've been riding since 2019. I ride for fun, therapy, and for my main commute. And in 2020, I was finally in the market for a bigger horse. I needed something to get me on the highways, and of course, to park in car spots since there's discrimination to smaller bikes. My friend let me borrow his Ducati Scrambler Cafe 800, and that was my first time on a cafe racer and on a manual bike. Then, shortly after, we went to Ducati to try out Scrambler 400 on the streets. It was fun, but I knew that it just wasn't it. I tried Paulo's Royal Enfield Himalayan, and nope, not for me. Then, my dad discovered that Triumph Motorcycles had finally been opened here in the Philippines, so we went. I tested it, and I fell in love. We reserved the bike, and my loan got approved. And then, I got into an accident. March 10, 2020, I got home from work, but I had an urgent call to go back. I drove a bit quicker than usual. I came to a stoplight which had turned green, and the next stoplight turned green also. Note, these streets have no left turns. So as I was riding to get to the next light, I was on the right side since the left is full of cars. Then, to my surprise, a small scooter made an illegal left turn and stopped in front of me like a deer in headlights. No time to react, too late to brake. I had to brace for impact. I flew off my bike, and good thing I have a Vespa because it stayed intact. A few days later, lockdown happened and my bike was also locked down in the shop. My parents said, no talk of big bikes until next year. Then GCQ happened, then I got my bike back. I still rode with the big dogs. I tried out my friend's Husqvarna's fart pillin. I also liked it, but it was too skinny. and just scary for the highways. I tried Paolo's Honda Rebel 500, but it doesn't suit my riding style. And then one day, I was offered to review a Royal Enfield. I knew what bike I wanted to try, so I spent a week with the Interceptor 650. And just after the initial test drive, I knew